A call from China, from Shanghai, and Wayne has a question. Go ahead, Wayne. Yes. Uh, uh, hello, Mr. Fei Wang. My question is, I know you have a husband and a cute baby, and uh, I want to know how can you keep your family and also have you think career together. Thank you. So how do you balance career with family? Well, actually, I don't think I really need help. Uh, I don't need to, to balance because both career and family are part of my life. And, um, when to do what? I think all these comes very naturally to me. If I don't need to work, I sit at home. If I have to work, I go out to work. So it's just very natural. I don't really need to spend any effort to, to strike a balance between both. Let me ask you a little more about your life in Hong Kong. You've obviously witnessed a, a very uh, interesting change over the past couple of years. How do you view that change? How much do you find you have to get caught up in the politics of what's happened, the handover and so on? Well, Hong Kong as they are special ministers of Region 97, well, to me, I don't really have any strong feelings. Well, this the past year's act is economic crisis that, is, uh, that hits people uh, more. So actually, nothing great uh, changes in, in politics. So I don't have any strong feelings about the political change in Hong Kong. Paul is in Taiwan with a question for you. Paul, your question for Fei Wang. Yes, how did you develop your unique vocal style, and who, if anyone, is your voice coach? I'm sorry, what was the second question? Uh, and who is anyone, if, if you're a voice trainer, a voice... Uh... Oh, you have this training, who is your teacher? If you have, if there is. I said, uh, I haven't received any formal training in the past. So, a lot of things uh, uh, come naturally to me after I have to spend some effort. Well, for coaches in Hong Kong, I have uh, followed Mr. Dai Xi, Dai Shi Cong. I have uh, learned from him for, for a very short period of time. And Fei, from the people you listen to as other musicians on both the sort of the canto pop scene and the western scene, who are your inspirations? Who are your favorites? Yes. I'm sorry, you can say twins. Cocktail twins. Cocktail twins. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And actually, there are a lot of uh, um, bands or artists that have affected or influenced me. I like. Now, you know, one of, one of the, the viewers earlier was saying how your attitude towards the media thing has changed over the past year. One of the things you were famous for was being on stage and arguing with people and speaking your mind. How much have you mellowed and changed over time? Could you repeat the last part of the question? Yes. How much have you mellowed and matured and changed your just now, I, my stand attitude have not changed towards media and, and my fans. Well, actually, there are some times that I have to protect myself, um, my privacy and my private lives, and there are some, there are times that if I don't trust those media or those people, um, like the Hong Kong media, well, then I won't talk to them so much. So this is still my stance and my attitude, and that have not changed a bit. Well, maybe now 
I am more relaxed than than before. Yes, perhaps. That's why. Uh, well, maybe because I have a daughter, I don't know whether that's the reason. But perhaps uh, people feel that I'm more relaxed now than before. Maybe that's why they have uh, the feeling that I've changed my attitude. Well, Fei Wang, we thank you very much for taking questions from our viewers around the world in Asia. Pleasure to have you with us. And that's our Q&A Asia for this one. Don't forget, next time, same time, same place, we'll see you on Q&A Asia. Thank